Former governor of Ogun State, Olusegun Oshoba, says Nigeria is in dire need of visionary leaders at various public offices. The journalist turned politician and now statesman stated this during an Instagram live se seminar organized by Center for Value Leadership. Elsie Godwin monitored the events and now reports. Many Nigerians, especially the younger ones, do not know the history of this country. And to help create a level of education and awareness, Professor Pat Utomi's Center for Values and Leadership launches the Nigeria History Project, a series of interviews with people who have lived through Nigerian history. The maiden episode hosts former governor of Ogun State, Aremo Shegun Oshoba. He gives remarkable accounts of his personal touch with Nigeria and maintains our value system needs to be reformed. Well, part of the reason why we lost value is this. In my younger days, to, to be educated was the greatest value. To be, to have gone to secondary school was in itself a big honor. Now, to, to graduate from university as I'm graduating, a job was waiting for you. When I graduated from high school, uh, a job was waiting for me in Lagos City Council as a building inspector. I was building inspector from 1961 to 1964. A job was always waiting for you. Now we lost it because by the time the military intervened, those core values were disrupted. The failures in my time in school were the ones who became businessmen, who became partners of the military. Speaking on leadership and cost of governance, he says the caliber of those in government at the moment cannot be compared to what we had in the past. The debate at the Council of State was robust. That was the class of 1992. It was still okay. Where we failed was by the time we were going to transit from civilian to civilian, all kinds of character, who have their uh, briefcase carrier became governors. But today, you will find uh, uh, special assistant domestic, special assistant kitchen, special assistant uh, this, that, a retinue of aid. There is too much wastage in government. He further encouraged youth to join politics as they are needed to move the country forward. Elsie Godwin for Plus TV Africa. We'll take a quick break. When we return, more stories for you. Stay with us.